Hey everyone, today we will be reading the story of Krishna and Kalinga. The Yadavas, whose chief was Nanda Gopa, were cow herds by profession. They had huge herds of cattle. They made a living out of the milk that the cows yield. Being cow herds, the river Yamuna was really a life source for the Yadavas. One day, a new creature came to make the river his home. This is Kalinga, the giant many-headed serpent. He was very poisonous. So powerful was his venom that just a breath of him could kill any creature, large or small. As soon as the evil Kalinga entered the river to make it his home, he poisoned the water to such an extent that all the creatures living inside the river died. The next day, Krishna, as usual, went towards the river Yamuna with his friends to graze the cows. They spent a lot of time playing and laughing. Being extremely thirsty, the boys got down to the river to drink some water. Krishna looked at the river. The blue waters of the river Yamuna had turned black because of the poison of the snake. Krishna decided to purify the water by getting rid of the black snake. The children who were watching from the banks of the river ran home to inform Yashoda. Hearing the news, all the Gopas, including Balram, became frightened and ran to the spot where Krishna had jumped. Meanwhile, Krishna swam deep in the river where he noticed palaces big and small, houses for big and small snakes. Soon, he reached a palace. It was quiet. Little did he know that something came from behind him. Suddenly, swish, a serpent's tail lashed out and grabbed Krishna. Krishna tried freeing himself, but it was of no use. When he turned around, he saw Kalinga. He hissed at Krishna, but Krishna wasn't afraid of the giant snake. Krishna easily slipped out of Kalinga's grip and jumped onto his head. Then Krishna started to dance. Kalinga cried in pain, but Krishna never stopped dancing. Each head of Kalinga fell and died until one head remained. The wives of Kalinga were looking helplessly at Krishna. Krishna agreed not to kill Kalinga and asked them to leave the Yamuna and live in the sea. Krishna then brought back the other heads of Kalinga back to life. He then asked Kalinga to take him to the surface. Kalinga agreed. Back at the bank, all the villagers were waiting for Krishna to return. Suddenly, they noticed the water bubbling. It was Balram who spotted Krishna rising up the surface. All the villagers, including Yashoda, were surprised to see Krishna standing on Kalinga's head. Yashoda and all others were happy to see Krishna to back on the bank of the river unhurt. He was taken in a procession surrounded by cattle with his friends singing and dancing.